we need to fight from within ourselves believe in oneself that you know even though we may lose something so precious we have many other faculties within us we have many abilities challenges are always there and i know challenges are even for people with no disabilities now people see me as i am they say i'm successful they say that i'm contributing so i should uh, witness this that it wasn't purely my own individual effort it's not possible i said i got angry with god but god used this to draw me closer to him and the more i you know the more i listen to him the more doors he opened for me the more strength came in the more inspiration came in and the best part is to love children you know to recognize them as the most vulnerable section of the society the ones whose voices are never heard whether they are children with disabilities or children with no disability of course a child with disability is more disadvantaged especially those who cannot speak who cannot hear when they cannot express themselves so as i got into this work i started seeing who children who a child is and that it is the society that either allows the child to grow and develop or how the child grows and develop or allows the child just to perish and to mean nobody in future you know not as an important member of the society so that was the passion that kept me going well a passion is that driving force within a person uh, that that makes him to go beyond you know what he thinks he can it i i do not say that it is brought in from outside passion is in every person it's an intrinsic ability that we have the only thing that we don't see much passion around is maybe we do not allow that passion to surface and to be utilized i went through a very bad time when i lost my eyesight i knew from the doctors that it was going to happen and that it was going to happen gradually but you know when it really happened i i found it very difficult to accept it and uh, I went through a great period of grief of sadness but mostly anger you know anger I I felt angry against people around me I felt angry with my family I felt angry even with God at that point of time but then uh, slowly I think with the love the support I got from around and that you know that there there but i even at that time god was faithful and he never allowed me to really go into that depth of depression i didn't know that it was possible for people with blindness or people with disability to live normal lives i didn't want to stay jobless i didn't want to stay dependent on my family members you know i i felt so ashamed i wanted to to do any kind of work just to say that i have a job that i can look after myself to a certain extent for us in those times i used to say it doesn't matter if i earn 500 or 5 lakhs the only thing is that i can tell the world that i am earning something from my own you know sweat and tears so to say and talk about challenges um this is my white cane i had problems using the white cane because it is a symbol of visual impairment but as i said you maybe from the god given courage and boldness 
and that desire I shouldn't care what people talk about me let them call me names let them uh, let them humiliate me even though that hurts very much you know when you walk out in the road people call i mean they say oh blind matla all that no it hurts but then i just felt that i have to set that example that it doesn't matter to be that we have other things to show off other things to contribute in so it kept me going well i would like to start that based on what i had shared it's a very important that every young person knows himself first or knows herself they should know who they are what they have what they can do where they come from what they are interested in when they know themselves they know the good things they have work build up on the good things and if we have things on the weaker side it's it's not it's not a crime all i mean we're all human beings we have strong points we have weak points but for young people it's very important to to see the good strength they have in themselves and not to see the weakness they have be it educationally be it financially be it socially be it in any way you know just be who you are and then strive to grow and develop positively physically emotionally is very important we should grow emotionally as people so that you know we can as we grow older and merge into the society we will know how to tackle uh, the life as a young adult in the society